I think that I probably offer people some sort of escape, you know, back to childhood, maybe. I'm a loner, daddy. A rebel. Paul Rubens, the zany comedian better known as Pee Wee Herman, has died. You don't ever plan to grow up, do you? No, are you kidding? <laughs> Spoil all this fun? No, no way, Jose. The comic actor behind Pee Wee's Playhouse and Pee Wee's Big Adventure passed away Sunday night after a six year struggle with cancer that he kept private. In a message to fans posted after his death, he wrote, Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. You know, just a few short years ago, I was a nobody, you know? Now I'm a somebody and. And it's exciting! La, 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 la. <laughs> the comedian looked healthy and happy during his last big public appearance. It was on an episode of To Tell the Truth in February of last year. I can't wait really to get before the cameras and, you know, I'm ready for my close up now. <laughs> E.T. first sat down with Pee Wee in 1984. He was excited about making his big screen debut. I always say really that the only reason for being in show business is to impress the people that you went to school with, you know. This morning, the tributes poured in. Jimmy Kimmel, Kelly Ripa, Ricky Lake, and Cher all paid their respects. That was so cool, Cher. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Pee Wee. Cher, who appeared in a 1988 Christmas special, quoted Shakespeare. Good night, sweet prince. May flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Paul himself created the character and the voice for Pee Wee in 1977 during his time with the improv group The Groundlings. I know you are, but what am I? In 1985, he hit the big screen for the first time in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Good morning, Pee Wee! Good morning, Mr. Breakfast! <laughs> in a movie, you can do all kinds of stuff, you know? I could show my thoughtful side, and I could show my, you know, sensitive side. The film was a critical and commercial success. The next year, Rubens became a Saturday morning staple with the debut of CBS's Pee Wee's Playhouse. And E.T. was on set. <laughs> Take a few pictures, why don't you? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> anyway, um, well, this is my playhouse. It stars me, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> the series ran five seasons and helped launch the careers of Lawrence Fishburne. Howdy, Cowboy Crab! Howdy, Pee Wee! and the late Phil Hartman. What's the name? Captain Carl. Then, in 1988, he returned to the big screen with Big Top Pee Wee, where he flexed his chops as a romantic leading man. I'm much more sexy off screen than, you know, than I've been in movies before, so I hope they're ready. If they're not ready, then I'll be one of those guys just, you know, on the, on the pavement pulling your skirt going, Gene, remember me? Pee Wee Herman. I could have been somebody if I hadn't made that sexy movie. But in 1991, Ruben's squeaky clean image was tarnished when he was arrested for indecent exposure at an adult movie theater in Sarasota, Florida. We announce a plea of no contest. Rubens walked away from Pee Wee for nearly 20 years until 2010 when he reprised the Pee Wee Herman show on Broadway. Before his death, Rubens was developing multiple Pee Wee projects, including a black comedy called The Pee Wee Herman Story and a family film titled Pee Wee's Playhouse, the movie. Pee Wee Herman, star. 